The difference between strong acids and bases and weak acids and bases is the degree of dissociation, or how much it breaks apart. Strong acid and bases dissociate or break apart 100%. If you look in the picture, all of the hydrogen and chlorine have been broken apart. There's no longer any HCl still together. That means it's a strong acid. In the picture here, you can see a weak acid because only a few carbonic acids broke apart into hydrogen and bicarbonate. Weak acids and bases dissociate only a small degree. The amount of dissociation is represented by the constant Ka for acids and Kb for bases. Make sure you know the larger the constant, the stronger the substance. The larger the Ka or Kb, the stronger the acid or base. Strong acids and bases, though, don't have Ka's or Kb's because we know they break up 100%. And a Ka and Kb only tells us how much of it breaks apart. So on here, they gave us two acids. Each of them have a Ka, so we know that they're not a strong acid. But we need to see which of those weak acids is stronger. Remember from the previous slide, we said the larger the Ka, the stronger the acid. So we need to figure out which of those Ka's is a larger number. You look at the exponent. If they're not the same, then you can just look at the exponent. If they are the same, you would look at the number in front. Negative four is larger than negative eight, so HF must be the stronger acid. Go ahead and pause the video and try B or two and three on your own. So for number two, we're looking at the base. See if, which base is stronger. That's why we have KB instead of KA. Negative nine is bigger than negative 10, and so C5H5N is the stronger base. And number three, negative four is bigger than negative five, so nitrous acid is stronger than acetic acid. Notice all of these are weak, though. There are seven strong acids that you need to know. Hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic, hydroiotic, sulfuric, nitric, perchloric, and chloric acid. If it's one of those seven strong ones, you will not have a Ka, and it's all there of equal strength. The strong bases are the metal hydroxides of group 1A, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. We can calculate the pH of strong acids and bases, knowing that they break up 100%. So we have 0.033 molarity of nitric acid. First thing we need to do is write our dissociation equation, how it breaks apart. Since it's a strong acid, I know it's going to break up into hydrogen and nitrate ion. And because it's strong, if I have 0.033 molarity of nitric acid, due to it being a one-to-one -one ratio, I also have 0.033 molarity hydrogen and nitrate ion. To figure out my pH, the important part of that is my hydrogen ion. So I can find my pH using the equation pH equals negative log of H. So remember that if you have a strong acid, the concentration of that strong acid is the concentration of hydrogen ions. That's only for strong acids though. So I get my pH to be 1.48 if you plug it in correctly. Go ahead and try two on your own. Restart when you have your answer. So on two, we have hydrochloric acid. So you should have written your dissociation equation. HCl is a strong acid. You will need to be able to recognize if it's strong or weak because you're going to solve them differently. It's one to one to one ratio, so your hydrogen again was 0.033. Plugging it in your pH equation, you should have got the same pH, 1.48. So notice if it's the same concentration of a strong acid, your pH would be the same because they're equally as strong.
On number three, they gave you the pH and want to know the hydrogen ion concentration. So you can solve this one just like we did a few days ago. When you write your equation, you know pH, you can calculate hydrogen. So to remember, to solve this, you would need to do 10 to the negative pH. When you do 10 to the negative 3.2, you get 6.3 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. Go ahead and pause the video and try to write your dissociation equation for number four. For number four, you need to realize that you had a base because KOH is not an acid. And so when bases break up, we're gonna have our positive ion, which in this case is potassium, and we're gonna have hydroxide. It's a strong base, so the same concept applies. I have three molarity of KOH, so I also have three potassium ions and three hydroxide ions or molarity. If I'm trying to find POH or pH, the important thing is my hydroxide ion concentration. I don't have an equation to find pH from OH concentration, but I can find my POH. So when given a strong base, you have to find your POH and then you can find your pH. So my pOH was negative 0.477 and so my pH should be 14.48. You can get numbers that are less than zero or slightly above 14 if it's a concentrated strong acid. Concentrated being over one molarity. We're going to pause the video and write your dissociation equation and figure out your concentrations for number five. So for number five, we have calcium hydroxide. And it's also a strong base. But remember, because it's a strong base, it would break up 100%. So you should have one calcium ion and two hydroxide ions because there's two hydroxides for every one calcium. So if I have 3.5 times 10 to the negative third of calcium hydroxide, I should have twice as much of hydroxide because it's a one to two ratio. You have to be careful of the group 2A hydroxides because they're all gonna produce twice as much hydroxide as the concentration. So I can find my pOH now of 2.15 and then my pH would be 11.8. Go ahead and pause the video and try the last one on your own. So for this one, I'm working backwards. They gave me the pH, and I need to find the molarity or concentration of the hydrochloric acid. So I'm gonna write my dissociation equation. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio for my HCl to hydrogen, so I just need to find my hydrogen ion concentration. Using my pH equation, I can find my hydrogen ion concentration to be 1.58 times 10 to the negative fifth. And again, I would solve that by saying 10 to the negative 4.8. So if that's my hydrogen ion concentration, it's also my chlorine concentration. And because it's one to one, it's also my HCl concentration.